Okay, let's talk about the use of live stem cells versus biological products, especially here in the US. So this is a, a question we get a lot of, there's a lot of confusion that, that circulates around it. So in the United States, what's really common is for a commercial lab uh, to make a, a biological product that they're using to intend to treat uh, a certain condition or conditions. So how the FDA views that is, how they're viewing it now is that is a drug. So they're, they're considering that a drug. So that has FDA regulations and guidelines that these labs need to follow. And some of those are not having actual live cells um, in these products, uh, not expanding or culturing the cells. So they, they have growth factors, they have anti-inflammatory cytokines, uh, but in my opinion, and in a lot of other people's opinions, these shouldn't be called stem cell treatments or stem cell products. In my eyes, it's not a stem cell product, not unless you can use an actual amount of stem cells and count them, do I consider it to be a, a stem cell treatment. Um, so we use live stem cells um, here, like one of the machines right back here. You can take a small sample, um, stain it with a certain kind of stain, and you could look at these cells under a, a microscope or a kind of machine like this. Uh, that can count the cells, that can show you how many is live or dead. Um, so there's a big difference between getting a biological treatment and getting a live stem cell treatment, uh, both in what you're receiving, what research is reflecting. So when people say like, oh, stem cells are a good treatment for arthritis, that's because there's been research done that shows live stem cells being uh, injected or applied to a joint and the benefits from that. The biological products, unless the company itself is doing their own independent studies, there's not a lot of research out on, on what these biological products are capable of. I used them when I first started doing regenerative medicine and they're not bad by any means. Personally, I think they should be kind of a first line agent instead of like a, a typical steroid. I mean, you're, you're, you maybe go to the ER, or you go to the hospital or something. Try one of these biological products instead going down a typical steroid route. If it doesn't work, the steroids are always there. They can help you get out of pain. But live stem cells, we don't measure in volumes. So a lot of times patients will say, well, I, I called this other clinic and I'm going to get a stem cell treatment there and they're going to give me three cc's of stem cells. And I tell them, well, you're not getting stem cells. I know right away you're not because they told them a volume amount. So if I have five cc's or five milliliters of volume, I can put 25 million stem cells in there. I could put 300 million stem cells into five cc's. Um, so that is a quick, quick little buzzword that I know that you're probably not getting a live stem cell treatment because they measure in a volume amount just be very aware of what you're getting and ask the right questions of, all right, if you're saying this is a stem cell treatment, how is this a stem cell? How, how can you show me that this is a stem cell treatment? Is this a biological product? Are you getting this from a lab? What lab are you getting it from? Um, and it's fine if they are, if they're, oh, I'm using XYZ lab. They, you know, the sales rep's going to say, well, they have the best stem cell products out there. Of course they do. Um, so if you're using that, then just be sure you know what you're getting and you be sure you know what you're paying for. A biological product or treatments with a biological product should not be the same price as a live stem cell treatment. You shouldn't be paying that much in my opinion. Um, if you can get the same thing or maybe spend a little bit more for live stem cells because the efficacy is going to be way different. So good educational piece to know that when you're talking around and you're and you're looking at other clinics know what you're getting know if it's a biological product or if they're using live stem cells 
Can they send you something like a flow cytometry report? Usually what we send to patients is a flow cytometry report that shows CD markers 73, 90, 105. You wanna know that there's these certain receptors on the stem cells that show that it's a stem cell. Live cells, we've got videos out where we're preparing the live cells. These are things you should be able to see under a microscope. You should be able to uh, centrifuge them and get, you, you know, if you're using the right, proper amount, you should be able to see the cells. It, it can get very visible if you go watch our video where we prepared uh, the stem cells. So that's a great question. Thank you for sending that question in. Um, it's a lot of confusion. It's something we answer on a weekly basis on our uh, in our phone consults we do with patients or, or, or potential patients. So keep leaving comments on, on great questions like this and we'll see you in the next video.